everyone. Oh, I'm really close today. Hello. Welcome to Stamp It Up with Jamie. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm really happy to be here with you. Um, I had a pretty kooky, crazy week, day, hours leading up to this. So um, I'm just so happy to be here with you because it really is like a highlight of my week to spend um, even just like 15, 20, 30 minutes with you is such a highlight for me. So thank you for joining me. Um, hey, Karen and Rosie. How's everyone doing? Literally 10 minutes before going live, my kids are trying to make crepes and it was a hot mess. And I just realized I have like crepe batter all over my hands. Um, hey, Heather and Lori. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. I'm super happy. Uh, Debbie from North Carolina is here. I don't even have, hi Bonnie, thanks for coming on in. Oh Beth, I'm gonna visit you in Maine one of these days. It's one of my favorite states. You like my card? Okay, so um, I'm using new product um, because it's always the best, right? Um, so I'm using the, and I'll show you once I flip the card around, give you a, a closer look, but I'm using the Beauty of Tomorrow stamp set which is in the new July to December catalog, mini catalog. And um, it's used more in like fall, I think is kind of like what it's kind of designed for. Um, but I don't know, I kind of wanted to do something completely different. And so I went just kind of like pink and girly um, with like these sparkles. So I don't know, you'll have to let me know if you like it or not. Um, <laughs> and I'm pairing it with the, what's this called? Be, Be Dazzling, um, specialty paper. So we have a second celebration coming up, which is super, super cool because normally, um, Stampin' Up! only runs a celebration like January, February, March. Uh, this year they're trying something different and they're throwing in a second one, um, for August and September, which I am pretty psyched about. And if you're not familiar with Celebration, it's a mini brochure like this. I can't show you the inside yet because it hasn't gone live per Stampin' Up! rules. And I'm a rule follower by nature. <laughs> Drives my husband nuts. Um, but it is full of free product that you can earn with qualifying orders. And so um, a $50 order will earn you a level one item. And a $100 order will earn you a level two item. And there's, I think, two level twos and the rest are level ones. Level two, level two, yes. So there's two level twos and I'm gonna be using the Bedazzling um, is in this brochure. I will say that, huge, huge, huge heads up. If I can tell you one thing about this brochure, this is what I would want you to know, okay? It is while supplies last. Okay, this is hugely important because depending on how popular certain items are, they could sell out before, well not sell out because you're not buying them, they could, um, whatever, I guess sell out, sell out before September 30th. So if you have your eye um, on any of this product that you would like to earn for free, do not wait. I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of it. Um, so place those er orders early on and get the product that you want. Ooh, a haircut, Lisa, that's fun. A little pampering, hopefully, I love it. Um, so that's happening. If you need catalogs, let me know. I would be happy to pop them in the mail for you. Um, don't forget, I am, um, I am sharing my five tips for quick and easy card tutorials. Um, because I know you're busy, I'm busy, we're all busy, we need quick and easy cards. And so you can find those at freebies.jamieb.com. I gave the wrong link earlier when I shared that a couple days ago. Oops. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, my designer, my um, product shares are available. So if you're like me and you open up the mini catalog, which is full of all things fall, winter, Halloween, Christmas, um... Well, that's about it. Um, and there's a couple like all occasion stuff as well. If you open this up and you're like, oh my gosh, that designer's paper, that designer series paper is gorgeous. 
because that's literally what I said. I love it. It's I want it all. Um, or if you look at the pretty ribbons and embellishments and you just want everything, okay? I offer a product share and this is a way of getting all the product into your hands at a fraction of the price, okay? So there's a couple of like major positives from this. Number one, it gives you a sampling so you can try and hand hold it, right? Because if you touch this and feel it, you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know it was so shimmery or whatever, right? It's always different when you actually have the product in your hand. Um, so you can try out the product, decide what you want more of, and then you can order that specific product. Um, it's also a great way to kind of cover it all, right? Maybe you want some Halloween paper and you want some fall and winter, but Christmas, but maybe your budget can't handle that. So this is a great way to get you all of that without having to pick, like, I, I guess I'll have to get this one and not that one or whatever. You get a sampling of it all. Um, uh, and so what happens is I buy everything and then I chop it up. I cut it up, all the designer paper I cut into six by six, um, Ribbon is usually cut to a yard and embellishments kind of divided evenly. And uh, then you buy uh, a product share. You buy a portion of everything. So it's a great way to do that. You can find all the details over at jamieb.com. You do have to spell it right. Sorry. J-A-I-M-I-E-B.com. You can find all my links there. It's kind of like my catch-all link, okay? So let's dive into tonight. I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I kind of want to try something, a little something different. Um, so um, you'll have to let me know which one you like, okay? I'm going to flip the card around so we can get going. Uh, just look away for a second. I usually struggle a little bit, so bear with me as it takes me just a little bit to flip my, car, my um, camera around. covering it am i upside down my phone was giving me a um not a warning like a, a notice saying that my my phone wasn't upright am i please someone let me know if i am correct <laughs> if i'm not completely lopsided and wonky <clears throat> if i am i'm gonna have to we may have to start all over again i don't know facebook was giving me a notification saying your phone is whatever oh, okay thanks renice appreciate it I'm like, I haven't moved my phone, Facebook, relax. <laughs> Gotta love technology. Okay, so here's tonight's card. I wish I could show you the inside of the catalog, but I can't because the beauty of tomorrow is part of a bigger suite. Your book was, oh, okay. Um, this is part of a bigger suite. I use lots of, lots of like Blackberry Bliss and Rich Raspberry um, like yummy purples, right? It's more of like designed for fall, but I don't know. We're not in fall yet. And I still wanted to use the product. So I went kind of a sort of different route with it. And, um, I use the, Ooh, 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 that's not good. Hold on. We have a miss. Ah, that's totally not where I want that either. Hold on. We will pause this viewing to fix the rhinestone. Um, I use the Taylor May tags, which are such a favorite of mine right now to create this trio of tags. And again, I paired it with the Bedazzling uh, specialty paper. So I'm going to walk you through. Here's the thing, though, of all the pinks, Blushing Bride isn't necessarily my favorite. I mean, I used it and I like it, but Petal Pink is my favorite pink. And so I think I'm going to switch it up tonight and uh, make the same card, same design, but use Petal Pink. So as I'm going along, let me know which one you like and um, we'll go from there. I'll have an idea. The, I, the reason why I stuck with the pinks is the Bedazzling Specialty Paper. I just want to make sure I'm saying this right. Yes, it uses the color Champagne. Uh, yes, me too, Zara. Hello, friend. Yes. Um, so the this here, it uses the color. What is in there? Something's in there. It's a champagne. So it's not a gold. It's not a bronze. It's a champagne. And so I feel, I feel like the champagne pairs very nicely with pinks. So that's kind of why I stuck with pinks. Now I could, you know, let's get this out. Let's get this stuff out. I am going to need a sheet. So we might as well just take one out. This is six by six, if you can't already tell. Hey, Joanne, so good to see you tonight. Thanks for joining. 
Ay, ay, ay. What in the world is going on? Why can't I get there? There we go. That was way more complicated, I feel like, than it should be. First of all, let's just admire all this sparkle. Like, ah. If you look really closely, they're like little ovals of just amazingness. And it is, it's calling it champagne, which I think, like I said, pairs nicely with the pink. You could go with a blue, I suppose. Hold on, I'm reaching. I mean, you could do blue, right? That's a nice, oh, I should have done blue. I like the blue. <laughs> or or whatever, right? But I think pink is really pretty. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I hope I pronounced your name correct. Um, Lindsay, is that, I think that's a Lindsay. Um, I'm hoping I didn't just completely butcher your name. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so that's kind of where my head went with the pink. So, of course, I don't have my bone folder out, but I do know where it is. Yay. Four and a quarter by 11, scored a five and a half. And I'm going to use my bone folder because I remembered it. And I, well, I didn't remember it, but I knew where it was. <laughs> oh, boy, people, it's been one of those days. Oh, it is Lindsay. Okay, good. Phew. <laughs> from one person who has a name that's spelled different, I get it. Jamie, no one ever spells my name right. And forget my last name. That's like even, thank you my, to my husband. That's even, forget it. No one ever gets that one right. Um, okay, so this is the card front. I have another panel of the same cardstock. So this one is the same as Blushing Bride. This one's Petal Pink. And this is four by five and a quarter. So just a little smaller. Uh, oh, the da the bedazzling, uh, it's just so pretty. Like the glitter that it catches. If anyone makes like New Year's Eve cards, I don't usually. Um, but it would be a beautiful like New Year's Eve card. Um, for my sample here tonight, I used dimensionals on it. But for the card I'm going to make with you, I'm not. And let me tell you why I did and why I am not. <laughs> so I did in my my sample card because I love using dimensionals. I mean, I use it in every chance I can. You know that. Um, but because the, oh, I didn't tell you the embossing folder. I totally skipped that. Well, I'll tell you that in a second. But because the embossing folder has so much detail in it, it does kind of warp the paper a little bit. So unless I put dimensionals literally all the way around, it does kind of have like a little wave to it, if that makes sense. Thanks, Judy, for watching. I appreciate from Central Florida. How lovely. I bet you guys are in hot, hot weather. So this is one of our new embossing folders. And I'm a sucker for a good embossing folder because I think they really make a card come together like super quick and easy and, uh, and whatnot. And you're definitely going to want this one. This one is no exception. It's the Timber Embossing Folder. It is 3D, so it has tons of detail in it. And I love the positive as well as the negative. I'm using the, I guess this is the negative. I don't know what you would call this. But just like the swirls that we get in here. Oh, it's very hot. Yeah, I'm sure. We're actually pretty mild right now. It's only been like in the mid-70s, which is kind of crazy for July for us. Um, this is just an amazing, amazing, amazing embossing folder. I am like fingers crossed hoping that it carries over and they don't retire it because just the detail. And I love a wood grain. It makes a great background. So easy to use. Okay. So that was that. Four by five and a quarter embossed with the new timber and fo embossing folder. This also will be available beginning August 3rd. Okay. So this is available August 3rd, as is the beauty of tomorrow. Of August 3rd. The Beauty of Tomorrow is in a bundle. So we have matching dies. Ooh, how fun, Michelle. You'll have to make lots of fun things and share them. Um, it coordinates with the beautiful leaves dies. And let me just show you these dies, okay? Like, oh, this, 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 this is gorgeous. <laughs> this is just an amazing die cut the the leaves and the detail in this is amazing okay and then we also have some oak leaves okay nobody laugh okay no laughing at me I thought they were maple leaves so I had to do a little googling and to come to find out they're oak leaves I'm sure everyone else knew that I just don't my, know my leaves okay so it's an oak leaf and then these three down here coordinate with the stamped images that we can cut out I'm not using either of these okay <laughs> oh well if you have to Michelle right if someone has to twist your arm 
Um, I'm going to set these aside. Okay. So I didn't do it ahead of time because, I don't know, I just didn't want to. I wanted to do it live for you. You're going to notice that this die is bigger than our card front. I believe it's made more for, like, the European card fronts, which are a bigger, which are bigger. Um, so we're going to do a little finagling so it all fits on our card front. Okay, you'll see that mine fits. This one does not. Do you see where I'm going with this? I feel like you know where I'm going. Okay, so I'm going to just take my bedazzling cardstock. It fits perfectly. Look at that. Like it's a match made in heaven. And I'm going to run it through my card, my die cutting machine. I'm going to run it through and then I'm going to run it through and then I'm going to run it through and then I'm going to run it through again. I'm probably going to go about three or four times just to get all of this detail out this out. Okay. So let me line it up in my, my uh, die cutting machine. And again, I'm going to run it through multiple times. <laughs> now, if you were using regular cardstock, you may not have to go through every single time, like multiple times, but the bedazzling is thicker. I just want to check the back, make sure I cut all the way through. So you definitely want to go a couple times through. <laughs> Karen, you're funny. And listen, I could have done this ahead of time. I really didn't want to because it's just, I don't know about you, but I love um, cutting out the little pieces. If there's something so satisfying about it for that I find. So I'm just kind of making my way around, gently pulling out the outline, and I'm going to work on the little pieces. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Anybody else do the ooh and ah? <coughs> okay. It's going to take a little bit. Actually, what I did yes or did I make this yesterday? No, I'm going to have to do it this way. Um, I'm going to just take my take your pick tool. And if you do not have this little tool, accessory, whatever you want to call it, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, they have these interchangeable ends. And so I can flip it around and make it a spatula to like to pick up ex um, embellishments or whatever. Um, this end here has a little sticky bit at the end, which I'm going to, I'll show you how I use that with my embellishments. But then this end also has like a little pokey and I'm just going to use a little pokey end. It is sharp. So be careful. Don't like puncture yourself. Uh, but I'm going to just make my way through and poke out all these little pieces. I find this so relaxing. I really do. There's something so satisfying about getting all the little pieces out. Am I crazy? Am I the only one? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, me too, Judy. I, see, I may not know where my bone folder is, but nine times out of ten, I know where my take your pick tool is, which is kind of funny because I use them both pretty much in every card. Okay, so just make your way around. I also have the roller, but I didn't feel like switching it out tonight, so I'm just sticking with the poke end. Okay. Some of these are a little sticky but I think they went all the way through, so we should be good. Okay, where am I, where'd I leave off? I got one here and I got one there. So the new catalogs, you should have received them if you are a customer of mine or maybe a customer of another demonstrator's. If you do not currently have a demonstrator that you order from and would like a copy of the catalogs, please let me know. I would be more than happy to pop them in the mail for you. I still have a number of catalogs sitting here looking for a home. And there we go. Did I get them? No, I didn't get them all. There's a little one right there. Okay. Did I get there's another one here, but it's being stubborn. Did I get it? Where is it? I guess I got it. No, it's right there. I can like feel it. There we go. Okay. So get all that away. Goodbye, garbage. And we're left with this gorgeousness. Now, again, like I said, this product I think was probably ideally designed for fall. So imagine this. You can even use um, the sparkle with fall colors, right? It's not quite where I wanted to go, but totally doable. Um, and uh, look at the, even the white side. I love even just the plain white side. I guess it does fit a card front. I guess I totally um, didn't. I thought it was, I guess I wanted to go more this way. And so it wasn't fitting. If you put it on a, on an angle, it will fit your entire card front, like perfectly. <laughs> um, so note to self, I just learned that because I was trying to go like this and I'm like, it's too tall. Well, if I had gone on an angle. Anyways, um, so 
you know, beautiful just to use like a white. I love that. Look at the white against the pink. I actually really, 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 really like that. Um, or you can do fall colors and whatever. But I'm using it as an everyday card. So I want you, even though in the catalog, it's used primarily as a fall bundle. Um, I just want to let you know that you can really use this stuff anytime. It's not like you have to be... Um, you know, closed into one season. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out a little bit. Now, I have, I cannot tell you exactly how I cut it, but maybe it's not quite, well, maybe it's about half. Right here, there's kind of like a little split. And so I'm just going to do a little trimming, a little hair cutting. And like that. Okay. Because <clears throat> I kind of want them like this. And then this one, I'm gonna do a little trimming as well. I'm gonna cut that piece off, I think. Oops, that one's also stuck there. And I'm doing kind of rough cuts. It doesn't, because of the sparkle, I feel like you don't really see that it's a rough cut. Um, what else do I wanna give a haircut to? Hold on, I'm just gonna take this so I can see like what's gonna be covered. Um, actually, well, maybe I don't need to do a ton more. Maybe these guys over here. Little haircut, little haircut. There we go. How about that? You have to take your pick tools. I feel like you can never have enough. Oh, that's so smart. So you don't have to actually like be interchanging them. Yeah, that's really smart, Heather. That makes perfect sense. Okay, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. It does overlap a little bit here in the center. No big deal, no problem. My tag is going to strategically cover that where the two kind of touch, okay? And then all I'm going to do is, if I can find it, where's my liquid glue? Oh, gravy. Oh, there it is. It's behind my art light. Oh, goodness. I'm telling you people, it's been one of those days. You have no idea. Oh, I'm so happy, though, to be here in my craft room, crafting with you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use some liquid glue. We're going to glue this down. A little dab will do you. You don't need a ton. And I'm gonna go kind of that away. I think I wanna angle it a bit more. Then for this one, the same thing, a little dab will do you. You don't have to load it up. The liquid glue really is super strong and holds it on nicely. You don't have to overdo it. And this one, I'm gonna go kind of like uh, there. Okay. Do, 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 do. Again, this, the Bedazzling Specialty Paper, free with a $58 order beginning August 3rd. August 3rd. And actually, let me just take a quick peek because I can do some math. I'm not amazing at math, but I can do some basic math. I'm not my mother. My mother has an amazing mathematical brain. Okay, the Beauty of Tomorrow bundle is $50.25, okay? So did you catch that? If you get the Beauty of um, Tomorrow bundle, so the stamps that I'm using with the dies that I'm using, you'll get the bedazzling um, specialty paper for free. Okay, now, of course, you're going to want to add the timber embossing folder on as well. Um, but, you know, at least the bundle for sure will get you that free, amazing, sparkly paper. <laughs> okay, I used the, what did I say they were called? The Taylor Made Tags. These are amazing. My, my embossing folder is a hot mess. Not my embossing folder, like the folder that it comes in. So we have two sort of designs, one that has a more, that's, yeah, that's the right one, a more like square top, and then one that has more of a scalloped top, and there's four sizes of each, okay? In addition, you get these two little things, one coordinates with the square top, and one coordinates with the more rounded top, and they cut out a little, like, the little piece that this, <laughs> if I wanted to use it. I had to cut it out because I thought maybe I'd use it. A little bit that goes right there. You know what I mean? So I cut out um, from Crumb Cake. Nope, excuse me. Is this Crumb Cake? You know what? I thought this was Sahara Sand. Hmm, now I'm second guessing myself because I think it might be Crumb Cake. Well, I think it's Sahara Sand. A piece of Sahara Sand um, pattern from the Neutrals Designer Series paper. That's the largest die. Then I use the second largest die to cut out a piece of basic white. And then I use the smallest die to cut out another piece of basic white, okay? This is, we're gonna stamp the flower 
And then this one, we're gonna stamp the sentiment. So the flower, I'm going to stamp in the pale, not pale pink, oh my goodness, um, petal pink. Um, I'm going to stamp this. It's definitely gonna overhang, but that's okay. That will lighten a little bit, that's pretty dark. And then the sentiment, I wanted to make this a birthday card, okay? Um, and the beauty of tomorrow doesn't have a birthday sentiment. And I needed it to be kind of small and narrow to fit here. Uh, I think it is Sahara Sand. It didn't throw me for a loop, though. <laughs> so I pulled the Timeless Tulips. Ooh, that just totally... Timeless Tulips. And I'm using this Happy Birthday right here. And I'm going to stamp that in Sahara Sand. Uh, let's see here. Here's my sentiment. So I already cut these out. Normally I would stamp and then cut, but I think I can do this straight. If not, we'll just do it again. Everybody hold their breath. <gasps> okay. 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 Now we're going to put these together. I didn't, I don't know. I added this were two like very last minute. I got the hold card done. I was sitting here looking at it and going, I think like I want a little something down here. So I'm not going to cut out oak leaves, but if you like that little detail, you let me know and I will add them. Maybe we'll make the card and then you can decide whether we like the oak leaves or not. Okay, that's kind of how we're going to layer that up. So I'm going to put a little adhesive kind of on the right side of that tag. I'm going to overlap the keyhole. Okay, and then our sentiment. Uh, let's see it. Oops, I totally did the wrong side, but I don't think it matters. I think it overlaps enough. Okay, so this is what we're left with. You like the oak leaf, Judy? Okay, I can totally do that. We can make that work. That's where we're going right now. The birthday, I went back and forth as to which direction to stamp it in. Um, I mean, maybe I should have moved it everything cockeyed a little bit and angled it this way, but... I think people can kind of get the idea that this is happy birthday. Um, and then I'm using some uh, white ribbon. I'm going to cut it long because it's just easier to work with long. So this is like six and a half inches. I definitely don't need it that long, but it's again easier to just do it longer and then trim it. So I'm going to fold it in half, feed it through, I think. There we go. Okay, pull that through. I'm going to open up. And then pull my ribbon through. Oh, it's so fun, Terry. You definitely need it. <laughs> uh, I'm probably not the, a good person to ask because I will tell you, you absolutely need it every single time. <laughs> you, and you don't like want it like you need it. <laughs> That's what happens to me. I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm good. And then I'm like, okay, I need it. <laughs> and I needed it like yesterday. Okay, so I'm just pulling that a little taut, a little tight. And I'm going to give this a haircut. Okay, let's trim. This is way too long. Although I do like usually long ribbon tails, but this is, that's a bit much. I think I stamped that a little, I mean, cut that a little cockeyed. Let's see. Is it bad? No, I don't think you can notice. Okie dokie. So we're going to adhere this down. I am going to load the sucker up with dimensionals because you will find that adhesive will struggle with adhering onto all that glitter. Okay. So ideally you really want to catch the cardstock underneath. You want to, you want the um, dimensionals or liquid glue or whatever you are using to adhere to the cardstock and not the glitter. The glitter will just give us a little bit of a it's a little tricky to get it to adhere to. It's not going to naturally adhere. Um, a trick of the trade, okay? I didn't plan on telling you this, but I will totally tell you this. If you are layering like a banner, hold on, let me get a piece of that beautiful specialty paper, okay? So let's say we are adding this banner to my card, okay? And on the banner, oh, I wish I hadn't adhered, put adhesive on this yet. Let's say I wanted to put a tag like straight on so that the tag was going to only touch the specialty paper. 
trick of the trade when using this specialty paper is to cut a hole out of the center. Should I just show you? <laughs> I'm so bad at describing. Sometimes I'm like, I just have to show you what I'm talking about, okay? Let me just, um, let me, let me, hold on. Give me a second. I'm totally like improvising here. Because I will tell you right now, it is hard to do this. Not hard, but it's hard to adhere. So you kind of need a trick. Let's say I have this tag and I want to adhere it like just like that. So it's not touching any cardstock. It's just touching the glitter. What I would suggest for you to do is either use your trimmer and cut out a little piece um, of the glitter paper. I'm totally going to improv and use the smaller tag, which will work too, totally. It will totally work. Okay, so let's say this is my, I'm totally veering for my card. I hope you find this helpful. Let's say I am, this is my card front. I'm putting this on that and then this is going to cover, okay? So you're going to cut out a little piece, a little window. No one will know about our little, our little secret. No one has to know. <laughs> okay, so then I would like adhere this over here, right? Because that adheres fine. Now that I have glitter everywhere, I cut out a little hole here so I can either straight adhere or I can use some, where did I put them? Where did I put them? There they are. I can put a couple of dimensionals there. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Get when I'm laying down and then I'm going to adhere that over there. Okay. So you're not having to worry about adhering this to the glitter paper the bedazzling it's actually adhering to the soft suede behind it um and i cut just a little window no one needs to know our little secret but it's a great way to to adhere something straight over the glitter because otherwise you're going to really struggle it's not going to want to do that okay so that's my little psa for the night okay my little public service announcement for everyone if you're looking to um adhere that's kind of a workaround Okay, so this I'm going to kind of go cockeyed with it because that's how I want it. Um, and I'm going to cut out, let's see here, where are they? Here they are. You should see my desk. It is such a mess. Oh my goodness, I have stuff everywhere. Okay, let's do, um, we'll do some oak leaves, right? Why not? Should we do it out of the glimmer paper? How fun would that be? Add a little bit more. Let's see, I have a little piece here. Oh no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Baby, that's not gonna work. Okay, hold on, I gotta get another little piece. You get eight sheets of this. Eight sheets, just so you know. Okay, I'm gonna cut these out. The oak leaves. Oops. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like it in the in the bedazzling. Oh, I think I do. Oh, I think I really do. And I'm just gonna I glued that down I think I'm gonna add should I do we like it in the bit in the bedazzling or should I do it in crumb cake or even petal pink I could I mean uh Sahara sand sorry hmm hold on I need a compare I need a compare let's get me some Sahara sand Oy, that's not what I want Come on. oh my goodness I just need like a little piece what in the world <laughs> and we have ginormous pieces of Sahara sand, apparently. Um, okay, let me just cut this out, and then we will decide which one we like. You can let me know which one. Oops. I think I might like the Sahara sand more, because you can actually see it. This one, you lose a little bit of the leaf detail petal pink oh you all are going pink i just cut the sahara sand okay hold on let me get petal pink out hold on is this petal pink oh that is petal pink i'll use that that was sitting right on top so while i'm cutting these out do like a quick look okay here's the blushing bride one that's the petal pink one which one do you like more let me know which one you like i think i know which one i like more <laughs> but i want to hear what you have Petal pink, Judy says. I think me too. I think me too. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that prefers the blushing bride one. Petal pink is my favorite pink anyway, so I think I was just going into it a little biased. 
Rosie likes the brushing bride. Michelle likes the petal pink. Okay. Whoops, I can't pick it up. Okay, if I tuck that under, do we like that one? Heather likes the petal pink. Oh, yeah, I think I like it. Yep. See, ladies, you know what you're doing. I should have just asked you from the beginning instead of just doing it. I think I like the petal pink uh, oak leaves, too. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little glue, tuck it under, kind of having it hang off a little bit. <laughs> Karen likes them both. That's not an option, Karen. You had a pick. <laughs> no, that's okay. You can like them both. I did them different. I did them opposite. That's okay. Ooh, did I not put enough glue on that? Now, here's the thing. Remember I said, let's just remember back that I said um, the bedazzling uses the champagne color. Remember I said that? So we happen to have, I totally lost the lid for my take your pick. It's here somewhere. I was just trying to avoid like puncturing myself. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so remember this is champagne color. Um, oh, you... Um, what do you mean? I like the crumb cake accents better with the blushing bride. You think these ones should have been, um, crumb cake maybe? I can see that. I think I can see it all. We have champagne rhinestone basic jewels. Look, this is all I have left. I've been using them tons. So the opposite side, I have no idea what I did with. I have no idea. It's here somewhere. Oh, I have no idea where it is. Where my little cap. Oh, there it is. I found it. So I don't puncture myself. The other side of your take your pick tool has like this little sticky green goo at the end of it. And it's perfect because you can just go zoop and pick up your rhinestones or your embellishments or whatever you're using and add it um, nicely to your project. So champagne in the bedazzling matches perfectly with the champagne rhinestones. Oh, gotcha. Yep. I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I added a small, there are three sizes. I'm using the small and the large, and then I'm going to add a couple small ones just kind of scattered around. We'll put one there and hmm. <laughs> how about one up there? And then I do have another one in my hand. Um, down here, maybe. Sure. Why not? That's what we're going with. Okay. And there we have it. That's the outside. Oh, I didn't cut cardstock for the inside. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when I'm making crepes 10 minutes before my Facebook Live. Oh my goodness. Did you notice I even forgot to put up, I normally do like a reminder 15 minutes before. I didn't even put up the reminder. I was, I was too busy making crepes. <laughs> my kids are hungry and they want a snack and my son loves crepes. And so he made the batter, but then he couldn't actually like make, make them. And so I'm like, yeah, I got time. I can whip them up. It was kind of an epic fail. He totally messed up the batter somehow. So I'm sure he's waiting for me to go upstairs and to somehow fix, um, and, uh, make it right but okay for the inside i'm going to keep it super simple for my sample i stamped the flower in um blushing bride i think i'm going to do it in my sample tonight in crumb, um, sahara sand just to kind of give a contrast of color here and we'll see which one we like more so i'm going to stamp it in the sahara sand ink ink it up i'm kind of having it Go off the page just a little bit there. Just kind of have it peeking out. And then we'll adhere this to the card front. I don't have to do, 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 do. I put it away already to do a matching envelope. Let me see if I have enough of this card stock, that designer paper. Is that big enough? Is that two and a, is that two and a quarter? I wonder. Let me see. Let me do a quick measure. Ooh, that's too close. Is that? Oh, that is so close. I don't think I can get a car an envelope out of it. Let me see. Let's like actually see. Let's actually hold the envelope. Well, I can go just below it, I suppose. No one will know. Let's do that. Water over. Sorry about that screech. Here we go. Okay, let me 
So normally when doing it in an envelope, you want it to be about two and a quarter by six. That will cover this card, the envelope flap here. I'm a little shy, so I'm just gonna go ever so slightly under the envelope fold there. I'm a little shy. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go as close as I can, but there's definitely a little gap there. That's okay. It's all good. I think the person will forgive me, whoever receives the card. Which, by the way, if you've been watching and have yet to leave a comment, uh, quickly do so. And as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna throw all your names into a hat and one lucky winner will receive tonight's card. And you can let me know which one you'd like, if you'd like the petal pink or the blushing bride one, depending on which one you prefer. Okay. Hold on. That little, there we go. Okay. How bad is it? Oh, it's pretty bad. That's okay. It's okay. Better than nothing, I suppose. Okay. So there's our card. Again, this product will be available August 3rd in the mini catalog. The bedazzling is for free with a $50 order beginning August 3rd in the celebration catalog while supplies last. So if you love it as much as I do, make sure you place that order early in the month and uh, don't miss out. So if you have any questions, certainly let me know. Um, I'd be happy to help. If you'd like to place an order, um, request a catalog, um, what else? <laughs> Anything else, you can find those links at jamieb.com, J-A-I-M-I-E-B.com. You can find all my links. I will be back next week with another card, and I hope you join me then. Take care, everyone. Have a great evening.